Okay, a little education session for you today on external rotation. So for those of you who are working on your rotator cuff doing external rotation, I've got a few tips and tricks to help you get it right. Now we're gonna go through the neutral position of external rotation, so when you're starting out, we're gonna go through the 45 degrees with your elbows a little bit higher and then the full 90 degrees. So there's sort of three phases of strengthening through range, and I'll explain why you're doing that as well. Now you can use either there are tubing, so this sort of stuff with the bands looped around a pole or a doorknob, or the there are bands, same stuff, just different types. We use a flat band versus tubing. So whatever you've got, whether you've got a flat band or whether you've got a tubing, doesn't matter, they're the same. The only difference is the color. Now, obviously green is gonna be your heavy, red is your medium. So depending on where you're starting out in your program, you might choose what level of band that is appropriate for your strengthening. So when you start off with external rotation, what we call at zero degrees. Now this is the one you've probably seen people do a lot in the gym. Sometimes they do it with dumbbells on their side. The band's just so much easier. It's also a bit of variable resistance. So when you are starting off trying to strengthen tendons and muscles in the rotator cuff, if they're weak, the variable resistance is a lot kind, a lot easier to strengthen up. Now, when you're at zero degrees, meaning, well, I call it zero degrees, meaning your arm is straight down. Okay, so your arm is not out, it's not tucked in right by your side, you don't put a pillow there, you've got to try and keep it as a little gap, but in one spot. So your elbow stays in one spot. You go from internally rotated at the shoulder to externally rotated there. What you've got to try and do is keep that band tension sort of level with the arm. So if your arm's at 90 degrees here, that band is gonna be level there. The tension part needs to be not loose when you're here. So I don't want you starting off loose. So just make sure you step away enough. Doesn't have to be heaps. If you do heaps, it's gonna to be too hard to bring it out. So get it to the point where you've got a bit of tension when you're internally rotated at that sort of inner, outer range, if you like. So that point there, again, that band needs to be the right tension. So if you've got that too hard, it's gonna to be too hard here. It's too loose, it's not gonna be strengthening. So from there, make sure, this is the part where you gotta think about your shoulder blade. When you pull outwards, you gotta make sure that that shoulder blade does not retract. That's the big part of this. Because when we're doing rotator cuff work, we are strengthening rotator cuff, tendon, muscle, we're also trying to train the brain about shoulder stability or scapular stability, meaning I don't want that shoulder blade to move when I move my arm. So there's no point doing external rotation like that where you're actually doing retraction of the shoulder blade to get the hand out, all right? That's not really strengthening the rotator cuff very well. It's not isolating it. So with this thing, you've got to try and keep, okay, if you look at your shoulder, that stays still, my hand goes out, and if I get to the point where to go any further, if I've got the range, like if I've got the range, but I can't get out there because of weakness, and I start doing this to get the band stretched out more, my hand out more, you know that this is either too, you're too weak through here, or this is too strong through here, all right? So you may find you need to drop down to something like, okay, I was using a green, go down to a red, which is one step below, medium band, and you'll probably find, and especially if it's long enough, okay, don't have it too short, when you come outwards, that last sort of 15, 20 degrees you can actually get. So it's more important that you get the full range without compensating by going down to a lighter band. Once you've got that strengthening, then you can go back to the heavier band. So, a couple little tricks with that external. Now, to advance that, some people are like, okay, that's boring, easy stuff. That is entry level work, okay? We don't sort of, as you know, when we're playing sport or doing exercise, we don't sort of stay here, we are out here. So, most of the time, once you get past that, the most important or the most used one is external rotation at 45 degrees, meaning 45 degrees at the shoulder. So, if you're an abduction 45 degrees. And I like this one the most because this is where we're sort of, we're moving the most. This is where you're pressing and pulling, okay? This is where you're playing a lot of sport below shoulder height, okay, you're using your arms a lot. So this point here is a very sort of functional um, position to be in. So what you need to do is think, okay, if I'm starting from my zero position, you go to 45 degrees at the abduction, okay? You're still staying 90 at the elbow, 45 there. Now, if I didn't move my body from that point, if I just pull backwards, it's just gonna hit me like that. And the band, like, position is not correct. So from there, you then need to rotate in. And I rotate in about sort of a quarter, if you like. So you're 
sort of diagonally on the band. So when you are there and you pull backwards to the end point, then it's straight through to the anchor point there. All right, so you just position yourself up to be, when you're at that point there, that is a tension is straight, okay? So when you rotate in, there is the right amount of tension and you will then feel that right back through here, okay? There's no sort of change by moving it laterally like that, all right? So this is harder because you have to keep your elbow in one spot and this is about learning a bit of shoulder joint stability along with some strength things. So the rotator cuff is gonna work really hard through here. You're not just gonna work your externals like your spinatus and teres you're also gonna work your supraspinatus doing this movement, all right? Because you've got to hold it in that position and then you've got to rotate. So all of those muscles are working and that's why you'll feel that fatigue a little bit more. This is a great one to do. Make sure, same like before, you don't get to the point you go, oh, I can't go any further and then try and compensate with the shoulder blade, all right? If you're, if you, if you have got the range, if you look at yourself and you can actually get, okay, I've actually got the external range to go, but when you use a band, you only get to here, all right? That band is too hard for you, all right? So you need to go down a grade on the band to make sure that you can get your full potential in there. Once you've got your full range, then you can go up a band, all right? So that's the one I use the most. Now, like I said, that's for you to say if you're pressing or pulling, playing tennis, that sort of stuff, that's the range you should be in. If you're doing overhead work, say you're in the gym, you're doing shoulder press work and you've got a weak rotator cuff, you need to up to 90 degrees. So that's where you'll go 90 degrees abduction. So that's your starting point. When you are there, a trick on this one is this band should go down. Okay, so if you can just remember when you go up to 90 degrees, get the band going down, because otherwise what happens when you're here, there's not enough tension on the band at that point there. You need a downward angle. So when I am at this point, I've still got tension on my rotator cuff, okay? If it's level, I don't have any tension there, all right? So you've got to have it going downwards. And then the other thing you've got to watch is what that elbow is doing. Same like that before, you've got to keep your elbow in space, which helps you with stability. But most people, when they pull up, they tend to drop the elbow. All right, so you need to have, make sure, okay, I need my elbow in that position. And so when I pull backwards, it doesn't move out of that position. I go right back. Again, if I'm compensating up through here, the band's too much, right? Maybe you need to step in a bit. Maybe you need to drop the band a bit. Okay, it's the color. I might need to go down to a yellow instead of a, a sort of red. But to be honest, if you're getting up to 90 degrees, you should be able to handle that anyway. So make sure when you go backwards, you go to pull right back to your full range. Don't compensate through your back. Try and keep your core on and then slowly forward again. Always looking at what your elbow is doing, making sure it doesn't fly around like this and keeps in one position the whole way through. Then you know you're getting strengthening work and you're getting some stability through the shoulder blade as well. So that's my three, going from 0, 45 to 90. I hope that corrects your external rotation. See you next time.